Have you ever felt so sick that you are craving medication to boost your system? Well, EU's biodiversity just yeah. received its medication. The nature restoration law will break away from the status quo, as explained by Cesar Luena, rapporteur on nature restoration law. La Unión Europea necesitaba dotarse de políticas de naturaleza más allá de la conservación y de la protección. Y por tanto, el salto que se va a dar eh, en esta legislatura EU countries must restore at least 30% of habitats in poor conditions by 2030, 60% by 2040, and 90% by 2050. A win for biodiversity, but the pill is hard to swallow for some. An opposition by political parties and civil society, including farmers protesting these last few weeks, will indeed be impacted by this regulation, both on the short and long term. Because let's face it, Farming, forestry and fishery sectors are likely to be the most impacted by this legislation. Preserving and healing means less intense extraction activities in soil, land and water. On the short term, for example, forestry will lose income from less intensive extractive management. But long-term benefits heavily outweigh short-term problems. These sectors will be more resilient to the effects of climate change as a result. In its impact assessments of the nature restoration law, the European Commission estimated the law to translate into a net gain of about 1.7 trillion by 2050 with jobs and biodiversity friendly business models. Yes, that's a lot of zero. Economic profitability and sustainability can work together. By developing the quality of natural resources, we allow ourselves to harvest sustained economic opportunities. This law is a world first, and it could show the path to other countries in the world.